My name is Carrie Spidecki. I'm a second grade teacher from Bakersfield, California, and I'm known for breaking multiple Guinness World Records for dance marathons. I'm uh, Matt Miller from Hamilton, New Jersey. I'm a uh, Twin Galaxies World Record holder. Well, my name is Brent Dolan. Uh, my claim to fame is, uh, is actually uh, Wii Sports. It is a Nintendo title. My name is Richie Knuckles. I own Richie Knuckles Arcade Games. I have two arcades, one in Bridgewater, New Jersey, and one in Flemington, New Jersey. My name is Michelle Ireland. Uh, I am a Twin Galaxies record holder, close to 60 world records, uh, mostly for rock band, Just Dance, and a few team things as well. Video gaming, I'm gonna change that. Extra gaming is why I wake up in the morning. Now the transition from a gamer to a gamer collector really is rooted in the co-op game element. Um, seeking out games for uh, Michelle and I to play in and, and two-team competition. So it's really trying to expand the library beyond just the games that I like as an individual to games that would really be conducive to us from a competitive standpoint. I buy them, but for me it's more nostalgia. It's not, if I can't play it, then I really don't want it. So video games, uh, I've been there since the beginning. Uh, I can remember being at the bowling alley when they rolled in the first Space Invaders. It was the very first arcade game I had ever seen, and it was just so much fun going up to the first time and just seeing that. I don't know if you're familiar with Space Invaders like I am, but Space Invaders has a backdrop mirrored image, so it kind of looks like they're floating. And to first see that was just mesmerizing, and I can remember being hooked ever since. I would describe myself more of a collector, uh, especially with NES, and I'm just I'm not good at any of those games. I loved them. Uh, my first game as a kid was... Obviously, the Duck Hunt and Mario combo that came with the kit, but uh, it was Kung Fu Master. 13 years ago, I was 210 pounds, plus size 1820, and I was walking past an arcade, and I discovered Dance Dance Revolution, and I decided to play it. I instantly died within 10 steps, and uh, some kid chuckled from the side, <coughs> you suck, and it hurt my feelings. And um, I remember I went home that day because I really had an instant connection with the game. And when I went home, uh, I, I was upset. I looked at all my previous awards that I had uh, from playing sports in the past, and I looked at my old pictures. And I didn't recognize the reflection I saw in the mirror anymore. This person who was now 210 pounds, that used to be 120. And I made a commitment that moment that I was going to master the game. You know, the NES era to me, it came to me at a time, time in my life too where it was a nice escape. You know, uh, I won't go into specifics, but there were particular issues in, in my home and personal life that um, were not so great. But when I got home from school and did my homework, there was a two to three hour point in the day where I could escape and I, I could be in control of the world. I could be the hero. I, and the goals were achievable. I had control. I, well, the first day I had my NES, I was sitting there in my bathrobe. My dad was in his bathrobe, which, you know, we actually have a photograph. And I'm sitting on the end of my bed and my dad's sitting there shooting at Hogan's Alley. And it just kind of blew my mind that that was probably the first game my dad ever played in his whole entire life. And he was doing it on Christmas Day with me. And I'll never forget it. And those are the things that, you know, those are the things that bring back, and it's like a story. It, it has really, sometimes it has nothing to do with the games. You know, it's the story behind the games. I remember going to Sears when the NES came out and filling out an application for a credit card so I could get the $25 gift card and go buy the NES. I had to have it. So, uh, and that's why I still game on the modern co consoles today. I just love gaming. Do I have preferences? Absolutely, I have preferences. Um, but it doesn't really matter what consoles you like, as long as you love what you're playing. This is definitely a risky business being in this. Not everybody feels the f need to have an arcade game in their basement. Not ev everybody enjoyed this like I did as a kid. And it's risky, but there's some months that you just, you hit, hit the stratosphere, you, you, you sell a bunch of games, you have a bunch of people come in and play. I know that what I do, I'm very passionate about it. If you have heart and you love what you do and you wake up and that's why you want a game, then you're a hardcore gamer. You're a gamer and it doesn't matter what people think. We're all maybe from one or two generations of people, but there's just something about gaming that we love. And they're such amazing people. And even though there's a lot of competition in between people, and yes, sometimes egos get in the way, but for the most part, we just love playing. You walk in here and see families, people my age, 
with their kids, six, seven, eight years old, reliving these games. People, this game right here, Punch Out. I made this and it has an NES inside of it. This Punch Out right here, you wouldn't believe the people that get excited say, wait a minute, Mike Tyson's Punch Out wasn't an arcade game. And I said, no, I made this, I customized this so that you could play Mike Tyson's Punch Out in an arcade environment. And that makes, brings so many smiles, the smiles to people's faces. Hi, my name is Carrie Spidecki. I'm an extra gamer. I'm Brent Dolan. I'm a Twin Galaxies world record holder. My name is Michelle Ireland, and I'm a world record holder. Hi, I'm Richie Knuckles, and I own Richie Knuckles Arcade Games. I'm Matt Miller, 10-yard fight world record holder. And I'm a member of the NES Club. And I'm a member of the NES Club. And I am a member of the NES Club. And I'm a member of the NES Club. And I'm a member of the NES Club.